G'day mates, this is just a quick little opening to let you know that I am currently, or about to go to, Europe for PDXCon. I recommend you join the Discord down below, which means that you can get, uh, that's where I post all the updates, the pictures, videos, any IRL streams I'll be doing from uh, London or Sweden. And what this also means is that whilst I will be reading your comments while I'm away, all of this is pre-recorded, and as such, if you comment something, I cannot change it until I get back. Alright, enjoy the video. As per the Constitution of Australasia, elections are being held once more every, uh, once every three years, a legacy of Australian practice. This year's election is particularly important due to the rise of Eric Campbell's Australasian Guard, which is running in the federal elections of the Centre Party, Centre Party and Percy Stephenson's Australasian First Movement, both of which have siphoned support from traditional conservative parties. With the uh, electorate's uh, electorate stick with one of the established political parties, or they opt instead for the radicals. <clears throat> oh boy! Eric Campbell and the Centre Party. Mm. Mm, I think so. Here we go. Oh, boys. No, still Prince George. There he is. There's Mr. Eric Campbell. What a lad. Oh, the Boonaroo comes on. But that's a unionist song, damn it. All right. Here we go. Average popularity, downfall and stability, mass demonstrations in response to the Austra Australasian Guard's assumption of control. Control which has come with the suspension of democratic rule. Oh, okay. Oops. <laughs> demonstrations are broken out across much of the Australasian Confederation. The government suspects that most of this is orchestrated by the syndicalist activists in Australasian Trade uh, Council Union, but this cannot be proven. And truth be told, support for the syndicalist rhetoric, uh, rhetoric is increasing rapidly. Straga, thanks for the sub, man. Oh, hey, nice. Oh, sorry. So, Suna, thank you for the gifting the sub. Uh, advisors inform the government the agitation is likely to get worse before it gets better. God damn bastards. Knows there's healing work to do. So, can we still go down the whole, like, democratic line? No, okay. We've just lost this line now. Alright, Pharaoh. Who will man the Boonaroo? Who will sailor be her crew? Sailing on the Boonaroo. So we can crush the syndicalists. We can reaffirm the Entente Alliance. Ah, oh, yes, yes, okay. Well, you know we're gonna crush the Cindy's. Crush the fucking Cindy's! Oh no! Cindy Wars! You boys are still holding. Let's just look at the Cindy Wars real quick. Who will sailor be her crew? How goes the Palpal State? <gasps> They're at war too. Oh. 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 How long will the stream be? I'll have to go for a while longer, dude. I don't know. E. Jacob, thanks for following. I think we're gonna get my prime sub, though. Who knows? Who knows what's gonna happen? Our captain, are you be ready for orders? Scallywag will report it. Oh god. Oh, trade. Uh, let's let's see how this fares. Huzzah! Princely Federation. Wait. Oh my god, they broke again. They formed up and then they broke again. What the fuck? I love this fucking song. Ah, yes. Bum, 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 bum. This cannot continue. This cannot continue. Dicks. Uh, major strikes in all cities. Past three days have been flonged with uh, thongs of angry crowds. God damn it. Oh, Struth. They refused us. All right. Crush the Cindy's. 4%- OH MY GOD! MINUS 1% STABILITY! Woohoo! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, fuck! <laughs> Bloody clash with the miners! Oh god, minus 1%! With national strikes only recently passed, it was thought that labor unrest was the end, and still a large miners' strike erupted in southern vi state of Victoria. Large parliamentary groups clashed with the ardent supporters. 25 dead, 60 wounded. Oh boy. Finally, some good news today, as three separate cells of the syndicalist agitators were uncovered in major Australasian cities. 50 arrests were made, with public trials expected within weeks. A true blow to the syndicalist movement. There are some, however, who have expressed dismay at how quickly the syndicalists have been organized and suggest these cells may simply be a few in the syndicalist uh, in the confederation. Go ahead and jump. 
I should just, I'm uploading this to YouTube, I should probably, probably stop playing music. Doom, doom. Renewed protests. Uh, protests have erupted across Australia, Australasian Confederation this week. A ma a massive marches of thousands, with the crowd in Sydney estimated to reach upwards of 100,000 people. This is far too much for the Australasian to disperse without sparking a civil war, and thus so far they've sought to uh, contain things. These are the first protests where syndicate leader John Curtin has spoken openly, demanding the Australasian government decide, uh, resign in disgrace. Though the police have attempted to quietly arrest Curtin so far, the protects, uh, crowds have protected him. Tom Williams, thanks for following. Fuck. The second Melbourne uprising is happening, boys. <clears throat> for the second time since the first uprising in 1924, syndicalist supporters have initiated a mass uprising in Melbourne, ones that's supported by a massive crowd of protesters calling for the immediate resignation of the Australasian gov Guard government. The army has squared off their barricades, uh, against their barricades of the city centre, but the entire nation, indeed the world, is watching. Either we march in and put down the uprising, triggering massive bloodshed, or we admit defeat and resign. There is some suggesting a compromise, however, I appeal to the general governor to en enact the emergency protocols once again, putting him and the British in full control of the nation. Mmm. Mmm. What do we do, boys? Do we crush the uprising? Minus 500 political power. And minus 10 base stability. Oh! Oh, you know we have to do this! Excuse me, Mr. Uprising, but there shall be no mercy! Minus 10 stability! Woohoo! How bad can it be? Oh my god. This is fucking stupid. How low can we go? Crush the Cindy's. Ah, yes. No longer get the effects of Ronald Fisher. We didn't run it! Minus fucking 10%! Oh, boy. I'd send in the army if I had any political power. Oh, my God. Now we must go even further! Beyond! Ah! <laughs> oh, God. What a fucking game, holy shit. What a fucking game. You made Detroit clack, <laughs> congrats. I feel proud of myself for what I've achieved here. The Russia and USA end up with minus 100 stability? I don't think so, I think they did an original Kaiser I'm not sure anymore. Might be true though. Give them free helicopter rides. <laughs> Dropping commies out of helicopters. Oh god. Alright, what do we need to buy? Fuck, we have no factories. Look at this fucking unrest. Oh, God, it's because of the disaster. Crush the Cindy's. Good. Good. Let's get those uh, secret police back in. Playing the Germans in Vietnam. The emus will revolt. Oh, one day. They'll try. But we'll be ready. We'll be bloody ready. Alright, what do we even need? More guns! More guns! Can we build our first new infantry division? They take 9,000 manpower. We don't have enough for one more infantry division. My god. Direct rule from Tasmania when? Soon. Soon, my brothers. Yes, Alright, here. Let's, um... Albania's gone. Let's give our horse boys all the required amenities. Albania, you're gone. The Rimi Gestapo. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's gonna be the greatest Gestapo you've ever seen. It's gonna be the best Gestapo! Uh, obviously we want to replace our boys, and how much cavalry does, hang on, how much does a, a cavalry division take, manpower-wise? 1,000, alright. We are going to replace all our horses. No, we don't have the fucking space, damn it. Alright, reset. Here we go. Start replacing our horses with bicycle divisions. There we go. The Rimpo. Oh, god. There you go, they're all practicing, training, they'll be right. Beautiful. Oh shit, hang on, where are they going to war with? Oh shit, okay, war in India! War in India. War in India. Let's fucking go. It's time to do 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 fight. Uh, here we go. Are they? Okay, we're just at war with all of them, aren't we? Yeah, okay. Uh, you need to hang the commies, then you won't have a problem with stability. I mean, that's true. The, the commies dying has made a serious uptick in our stability. I mean, it's, it's the real problems here. 
Oh man, Thomas blame- Fuck, we need to like switch out all these nerds in, in charge. God, efficient sociopath? Oh, we need, we need to get- We have such a shit government right now. It gives us so much negatives to our, uh, fucking, it's called, manpower. We need to get like this guy in charge. What about blamey? Silent lawyer, compassionate gentleman. State police chief, Prince of Terror. Prince of Terror wouldn't be a bad idea. Either way, mine is not- Oh my god, how did I get this low? Holy shit! We did it! <laughs> this is so- We're losing political power even per day. Oh, we need to get rid of the new unrest so quickly. Holy fuck. This is bad. This is bad. We need to get laissez-faire reforms as well. We need to rouse the masses. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, darling. There was a flat earther in chat. Was there? I'm not I'm not using the thing. It's fine. I'm at war. Yeah, I know, man. I know. We're going to war in India. That's why, that's why we're sailing out, dude. Let me see my secret police. Oh, yes. Look at this. Here's my new secret police. Look at them. Look at these boys. They've got the Owen guns. They're ready to go to war. Ready, sir. Ready, sir. Alright. Beautiful. Actually, is there any chance of our guys getting sunk? Hopefully not, but we're going to deploy the navy anyway. Here we go. These boys can deploy submarine-wise. Keep the seas safe. And these boys can deploy uh, search and destroy-wise and keep the seas safe. Beautiful. You're more undisabled in the Middle East? I mean, you're not wrong. I feel hurt, but you're not wrong. Here you go. Get, get across these ports. Go. Uh, the Muppet Party? The, oh no, the Emu Party is back, Jesus. And there we go, that's the Book of the Third Reich. Of course I'd not tolerate them, they're fucking stupid, but I didn't actually see them, so I couldn't quite start yelling at them. Here we go, we'll send our navies over. Detman, cheers for following. The Third Reich, yeah, it's the book, that uh, it's the book about, uh, basically about what happened in World War II. But it, except it's an alternate history, ooh, because that's the joke. Get it. Get it. If Rumi gets it, uh, no, here's the thing is, I think I still have a minimum 20%. Like, what's my... Okay, let's see. This is how broken Waking the Tiger is. I have 35% war support and no minus 19 stability. People still need to capture 70% of my country before I'll surrender. That's how fucked this game is right now. Like, it's so stupid. It's so stupid. That shouldn't be a thing. I should, like, a few victory points should win me. God. Hang on. Let's, uh... We don't want the squadrons. Here we are. There we are. And... There we are. Hiccups, Jesus. The gunblo gunboat diplomats. Oh, don't worry. We're definitely that. We don't need to name ourselves that to be sure of it. Here, sending over our boys as well. We'll send over the fighters and the bombers. Here we are. Beautiful. What the fuck does the front lines? Oh, the front lines are disgusting still. They need to fix them so badly. Alright, come on. Push these princely boys out. Oh. Yes, we won. Nice. Alright. So what's going to take? we got to get to Madras. Right, so we're going to need to make sure we actually have a, uh, a line to it. Let them have it. Straight down. Here we go. 30%? No, no, no. Wait, it's... Hang on. When it has 30% or less. So no, they need to capture 70%. When I have 30% or less of my country, then I will capitulate. That's how fucked it is. Good. You lose certain uh, provinces during the war, you increase in stability? Why, why would you increase, though? Wouldn't really make much sense. Surely you'd decrease, because you're... You know, losing land. Let's try and rescue these guys trapped down here, shall we? Good shit. Actually, have I got any more planes I can deploy? Can I deploy more bombers? Oh, fuck yeah, more bombers. And uh, let's also get some more fighters in here. Lovely. Whole new wing of these boys. Oh, no, these guys. There we go. Deploying them all in. Lovely. Let's get uh, ground support as well. Increase that efficiency. Oh, rebel provinces. I get, but how would you even judge that? That's kind of hard to, like, judge what a rebel province is. Alright, here we go. Like Melbourne, I assume. Losing Melbourne would increase my stability, but that's, like, how do we... 
How do we know that uh, Melbourne's a rebel province sort of deal? Uh, why, are my why are my militia just in that port there? What the fuck? Anyway. Okay, everyone's around here now. Oh, we got the, we got nice uh, heat acc acclimatization, which means we're actually pretty good fighting around here. All right. In the heats of India, my guys are actually fully ready for it. All right. Oh. Oh shit! The second vote, Krieg. Here we go. Is it not? Give me, give me, the, give me the readout. Come on. The second vote, Krieg. The vote, Krieg, is universally agreed to have been the most horrible war in human history. But it appears that uh, even the greatest nightmares cannot deter man's lust for blood. After numerous political struggles and periods of diplomatic tension, the uneasy peace between France and Germany has broken down. These two superpowers are now mobilizing their armies and preparing for a conflict never before seen to the human eye. The military developments of the interwar we put to the ultimate test. New tests of weapons, planes, artillery, ships, and tanks will see their first usage on the battlefield. But who will emerge victorious? That is a war that none can a war, uh, an a question that none can answer. Rather, war is hell. Jesus, runs too slow for me. That's a, there is a, there is a bug. You need to install the manual version. There is a bug. Uh, it will run incredibly slow if you're not installing the manual version. So, go install the manual version. Go 1.51. Britain go autonomous? What? Did they? Oh god, yeah they did. Oh god. Yes they did. Ugh, <laughs> holes. It's disgusting. Blitzkrieg intensifies. See, I, I normally see the, uh, it seems that this mod loves the fucking commies. Despite being a mod about Germany winning World War One, it fucking loves the commies winning. Like, I've yet to see the syndicalists lose that fucking main war. Uh, recently. Like, I, I feel like earlier on they lost it a lot longer, a lot more, but they sort of balanced it so the Cindy's are stronger now. Look, all I'm saying is basically, re Cindy's get out of my historical game. Vales doesn't have a right to exist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries. No worries, Reaper. Alright, let's keep going down. Let's get to that fucking capital. Move out! Try and take out this boy as well. Push across the river. Come on, we're about to take him. Reaffirm the Entente Alliance. Lovely. And that means I can get rid of the... Uh, I'm minus 18% still. We restore order. Lovely. Runs fine for me. Uh, you need... I mean, some people have reported no issues, but generally you need to be running 1.51 with the manual install. 1.52 will lag, and the workshop version is just really, really rough currently. It doesn't really work. And yeah, I do... I get what you mean, Wolf, about it being, like, rebalanced in each direction. It's what happened with Japan and China in, uh, in Vanilla Hoi 4. Like, originally, Japan would never... No, China would never, ever have any chance, right? And then in a... No, sorry. Other way around, China in the vanilla vanilla hoi was super amazingly good, right? And they would they would hold off Japan all the time. Japan sucked, right? And then in the next update, Japan would always win. And the next update, China would always win. They like they've now found the point where it's like kind of halfway, sort of, with the with waking the tiger. God, I know you uh, want to get this, but why? Uh, I know. I know want to get- I now want to get this, right, when I come to remedy these videos, Jesus. Right. Um, do, 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 do. Did, you, did someone mention our, uh, Lord and Saviour Oswald Mosley? No, 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 none of that. None of that now. Oh shit, I have nothing I can buy. Damn it! Alright, so what is actually- okay, we're still at war with these guys. I guess we just claimed my soul- oh yeah, shit, now we've got this- what the fuck, why is it just eight dudes of the French Republic over there? Alright, that's fine. Let's just keep attacking then. These guys are gonna get ruined now. There's actually no one here to fight them. Uh, no one here to fight for them. I was gonna try and take a province in India, but I guess I just, you know... I guess Australia won't have its colonies just yet. Good. Here we go. Just swing around and go take the capital, dudes. Oh, never mind. The socialists got to it first. God damn it, Gandhi. Here we go. Then we keep on marching down. We go to here, and then down to here. Beautiful Mysore state's gone. Can I actually... Ooh. No. Damn it. Pass. Wait, hang on. <laughs> yep. The first Australian colony. Huzzah. There we go. Mysore is my first fucking colony. I did not think I could actually get that. But okay, here we are now. <laughs> I own land in fucking- oh, fuck off, I don't want that. Australian Raj, so it begins. I think it's because I took their capital. We got cricket! Nice. Oh god, Rimmy's Raj. This is fucking excellent. Oh god. 
Look at this shit. Look at this. Little colony state right there. It's a good state too. Um, uh, shall we make that a two states? Oh yes, oh thank you very much. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this, our rule expands! Rule- Wow. There is more population in this one fucking colony state than my entire country. <laughs> oh god. Oh man. Finally, somewhere we can commit our war crimes. Fucking hell, that's amazing. Wow, okay. Uh, is there anyone else left to fight? No, I think- I think the war's over. We fucking won that shit. Hot damn. <laughs> we are good. Gucci is the way to describe us. I have herpes. What? <clears throat> oh shit. Oh wow, I got minus 7% stability now. We're gonna spend most of this game below the line, aren't we? Oh boy. Now here's the thing. Ah, they didn't go for Gandhi this time. You can actually, there's a whole Gandhi line now, which I feel like I need to play at some point. Approach the enemy in peace. Are those colonies boneless? <laughs> Oh god. Look, I can't I can't say it's boneless because I may have been putting my bone in the colonies, alright? So I just I, I can't really, you know, you know. Change Australia into colony. Import some Chinese so there isn't language. Make the language la a lingua franca of the country. Guji Yim 3. What the fuck? We're still we're minus minus 501 fucking political power. <gasps> oh lads. We're at war with the Cindy's. The Syndicalists. The Cindy Cunts. The Entente is marching off to war, ladies and gentlemen. It is finally fucking time. The Union of England. Oh boy. Oh my. Yes, indeed. The reclamation of the home islands. Oh yes. Oh. Oh yes. For the first time since the Australasian Guard took power in Australasian Confederation, peace has finally been restored to the streets of its cities. While there is still significant recovery to be made following the massacre in Melbourne, and trust of the government is incredibly low, for now the syndicalist threat seems to have been removed. Labour leaders have mostly surrendered to the police, and Australasian newspapers have proclaimed victory for ordinary citizens. The country now is safe from radicals. Ah, yeah. So, we could keep going down here. Ah, oh, Duke plus 12! Nice! Nice! We could keep going down here, and that's a good idea. It's a good idea, but we could also start claiming some fucking land. Oh, yes. The Anderson Doctrine. Let him have it. Holy shit, the USA. What the fuck? Union State, what? Union State, what? What? <laughs> you've come back. The commies were winning, but you've come back. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Increase in stability. There we go, finally. Maybe finally we can start getting some political power again. Maybe one day, Papa. Advance Australia's fair. Oh, God. Nani! God. Hang on. Gimme, give, uh, give me that, give me that, give me that. Syndicalist baby. We need to execute him before he becomes a problem. Child, child. Oh, wow, the Sydney, uh, Sydney's are actually losing in, uh, in Europe. Ah, oh, crap, the bloody Swiss went sinny. Oh no, the Palpal State holds out, but they've invaded from the south. Hold on, Pope! We'll be there soon! Pig Scanfly. <laughs> Thanks for following. Join the war. Look, here's the thing. If I join the war, who would I actually invade? Who am I going to fight? I need to find some- who's in the commie turn, right? You're the Eastern Syndicalists. You're the Goldstein Pact, the Entente, Entente. Where would I go to fight? The Third International is only a really small faction, to be like, to be real with you. Like, it's just in Europe. <laughs> Huey, what the fuck are you doing? I don't know. I don't know what Huey's doing. Oh, deportation of- Oh, we're sending the boats back! Nice! Wait, hang on. Why is Australia deporting unwanted people? This is just- this is a psych- this is a circle. Oh no. Oh god. It's pronounced pa a PayPal state. <laughs> oh, God. Today, many political prisoners, mainly comprised of the cynicalists and other troublemakers, have been shipped out of the nation as Eric Campbell promised in his 14-point speech. While these people are, are going as largely unknown, 
Are we taking them for free boat rides, perhaps? <laughs> hey, commies! Wanna get on my boat? We're going for a free ride to the Great Barrier Reef! Where these people are going is largely unknown for all the prisoners, uh... It was noted there was not enough food or water supplies provided for all the prisoners on their ships. <laughs> and while questions have been raised as to exactly which countries have agreed to accept these political exiles, they've been largely set up by the government. <laughs> we're fucking killing syndicalists. Oh, we're throwing them overboard. <laughs> we're giving Cindy's free fucking... Oh, no. We're deporting 30,000 people. But I- wait, I gained manpower from that?! What?! That was a- <laughs> Hang on! Hang on! Mitchell, thanks for following! The thing said I lost manpower, but by throwing Cindy's overboard, I've gotten 50,000 manpower! Did I just get negative manpower?! What the fuck is happening?! <laughs> I hydrated the prisoners, and then they joined me! This is fine. This is fine. This is okay. I've got manpower now. <laughs> Fuck, this is stupid. Oh, buffer overflow? I mean, maybe, I guess. What the fuck? Oh, man. <gasps> the Entente have landed! Maybe they need my help. Can we sail to help? Hmm. Hmm. Yes. All right. The Entente calls for aid, and Australia answers. Here we go. Scrap all your orders, boys. We're going on a boat trip. We're going to Europe. We're gonna save the fucking Pope. Is that actually? Hang on a second. Russia Republic. Uh. Hey, lovely. They won. Is that? I guess the British voices, isn't it? Yeah. Jesus. Every Cindy cast the ocean is two sharks drafted into the army. Oh, God. Alright, here we go. Oh. Jesus, lag there. Fucking hell. Alright, we're gonna take out boys. We're gonna move them to here. Here we go. And you boys are on convoy guard duty. Lovely. And then you boys, we're gonna do much the same through the red sea. Wait, can we pass through here? Yes, we can. Beautiful. Alright, is there any port around here? We, can, we need a port. You know what? That'll, that'll do. Fine. We'll use that port. Convoy escort into the Red Sea. Arabian Sea. Coast. Alright, so we've covered up our way. Now we just need to get into the Mediterranean. We can start taking it. Australian Deus Vault. We need, to, we need to save the Pope. We're moving out, boys. We can do this. We're gonna be the difference. Sail to the Welsh Union. It's time for New South- New North Wales. Oh, God. Actually, can we send planes over here to shit? Um, ah, oh fuck, if they can take the airport, we could do it. Here we go. I like we're doing this. Oh, wait, we're not even in the war yet, so we can actually freely sail, can't we? Alright. So let's sail across, and then we'll join the war. New New South Wales? New New Wales? <laughs> new New Central Wales. Perfect. Ah, oh, the Anderson Doctrine, finally. We can actually demand something. Ah, yes. Ah, yes. It's time to start demanding all my shit back. In the heart of- it's, no, it's in the heart of the Holy See. In the home of Christianity, the seat of power is in danger. It's a shame I didn't really like Gallipoli, the, uh, the Aussie song by Sabaton. It was just not amazing. I would play Sabaton, but this is going up on YouTube. I've already realized that parts of it are going to be missing, so, ah oh, well. Rebooting the Australasian Confederation. Oh, well, well, with order restored, there is a certain amount of peace. <gasps> Finally! Give me more political power! Gib! Gib political power! <laughs> oh, that's such a terrible idea for armor. That would just get your cock clopped off. Look at that. That's so fucking stupid. If, if a sword came down, it would hit your cock, and all the force would be directed to your penis. That is so bad! Ah, no, cocklopper. Let's start taking out the syndicalist threat. Huzzah! Deus vault, infidel. Oh my god, look at the Pope go. Fall of Chicago! Holy shit, the Union State's gonna win, isn't, isn't they?
Ain't they? They ain't. They ain't. They're totally gonna fucking win. My god. Evie's Alex? Oh my god. <laughs> Godly steel cocks. It's the album for that one African night. Real? Oh, <laughs> Oh, I thought you were referencing a real thing. I was like, oh wait, no, you just mean he has a big penis. Right, I gotcha. Oh, man. Come on, force him out of here. Goddamn Cindy scum. Alright, perfect. Here go, attack this boy. Hey, lovely, lovely, lovely. So move to here, to here. Beautiful. Cheers, love. Cover is here. The science count. Thanks for following. Here, up. Oh. Hold on now, do we, uh... Okay, we got two lads here, push it up here. Got a nice little, nice little uh, fucking push going on here, don't we? Hey, 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 where, where do you think you commies are going? Not just yet. I, I've quite famously took commies overboard. Alright, taking commies for three boat trips, alright? So you better stay in your fucking port and die. Horse cock plate. Oh god, that's just a weapon at that point. Jesus. It's a mace underneath a fucking horse. Here we go. Start armor on this boy. Auto mod censored gas the commies, did it? Oh, Jesus. Here we go. Keep that artillery going up. Going up. Okay, help, help this guy. Come on. End the commies. Woof. Okay, right. Keep pushing up. We can start threatening Torino. This is going to be fucking nice. Break through here. Oh my god, they do. Hang on. Oh, I'll son. There we go. Perfect. This will only get better with time. Guys, we're so close to having positive political power. So close. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, hello. So you're just going to be... Hang on, you're moving to there. You just left this province alone. God, you communists are really shit at defending, you know that? Oh, it's probably because Paris is under siege. Right. Here we go. Start to roll around. Oh, pull back, pull back. Okay, you hold off. Guys, dive on here. Beautiful. Alright, we're doing good. We're looking fine around here. Can start threatening up terrain a little more. Get some more fronts on this shit. Make more sense if he died on the west front like he always did in real IRL. Wait, who? Hitler? Oh, 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 right. No, I, what happened with Hitler in this timeline? I'm trying to remember. Someone told me last time, I think he either just didn't do anything or he, uh, he either... I don't think he died. Did he die? He might have died. Or maybe he just, like, sort of retired happily as a painter because, you know, his country did well enough. Hydrated Cindy's on boats. Hydrated Cindy's on boats. Hydrated Cindy's the best kind of Cindy's. Hydrated Cindy's on boats. Alright. <laughs> Fucking love this shit. He did. Oh, he dies. Okay, fair enough. There you go. I was unaware of this. Ah, oh, shit. Bring my boys in. Here we go. Finally been waiting for this. Get that fucking air support up. Come on. Where are we? Oh. Beautiful. Get that air support up. Lovely. Okay, we've done the uh, we've done enough demanding for now. We're gonna skip the conscription plebiscite. Lovely. We're gonna go equip up some more boys. Never another Leon. Never another Leon. Ah oh, shit, alright, we're gonna have to hold off. We need more guys over here. Yep. Fuck! I just wanna capitulate the fucking socialists, alright? No worries, man. Teach me not to read the whole Reddit post. Yeah, you probably should. <laughs> Dan Star, thanks for following. But she'll be right. It is kind of annoying you have to install it that way. What the fuck? What the fuck? Socialist Republic of Ukraine? What the fuck? Get out of here. Get out of here. Hitler's in Argentina? Are they? Better stay loyal to my empire? Look, look, we'll chill. This isn't Hitler. Don't lie to me. Come on, then. Oh, fuck. We're not minus 15 civility. No, no. Jesus Christ. Air support inbound. There you go. Here's the RAF just tearing up the Cindy's now. Alright. Let's try and push across this river. Can we actually... Can we support from here? No. End of the American Civil War. Oh boy. Fucking Huey Long is the victor. There we go. That is the end of the American Civil War. Oh my god. President Huey Long has declared the end of the war a national holiday. Oh my god. This is uh, certainly something. The New American Republic, Long's Republic, or Jim Crow's America. Democracy for the white man, protecting our race. Whoa, America is a Christian nation. 
Oh, God. Welfare for the white man, a new American century, the new constitution. Oh, boy. Wow, long doctrines. Oh, you can now go in, like, Manifest Destiny, War Plan, Gold, and Red, and League of American States. Oh, my God. Share our wealth. Expand the Minutemen. Every man a king. Loyalty to the Kingfish. It can happen here. What a fucking day. What a, what, a, what a day. The South has risen again. Atlanta is the space direct rule from Atlanta. Look at that. Look at that shit. Alright. Oh. Oh, Bataan. No, Bataan, no. I loved you. I loved you like a brother, Bataan. And now you're dead. You're dead to me, Bataan. The fall of Gay Paris. Fucking rip. Oh shit, we're even invading in the south as well. Nice. Actually, who's a major in this faction? Just the commune in England. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Oh, you fucking bet your bottom dollar we're reclaiming the fucking homelands. Loud Loudhouse, thanks for following. Man, my ships could beat their ships now at this point. What the, uh, the navy they've got. Thunder Dragon Empire. Uh, to go Jim Crow, long must die. Oh. Fair's fair. Alright, fair's fair. Let's, uh, let's get a little bit of a march going on. Shall we now? Attack this way. Here we go. You can attack across the river. Start threatening Torino. If we can just knock out the, uh, Cindy's down here, it'd be a nice little boost. One of your militia divisions isn't a side of the front line, so it isn't. Thank you very much. Boop. There we go. Cheers, mate. Oh, these lads are almost done. Iceland has capitulated. Of course it fucking has, because it's fucking Iceland. Why wouldn't it capitulate? Here we go. Long's cock must be short in order to do Jim, Jim Crow. Excellent way to describe it. Thank you. That's that's really assisted me in my uh, in, in playing this game. I'm, I've got a far deeper knowledge. Reclaim the uh, the birthright. Yes, Brest, the best best French city. Good. The Irish Ranger. Thanks for following. Don't worry, we'll liberate you too. Soon enough. Wait. Oh wait. Isn't the Irish? Aren't they like uh? Oh, paternal autocrats in this. Ah, oh, it's Michael Collins. I uh, see. He's uh. It's gonna be, uh, he's gonna be doing a little bit of, uh, get a bit of criminal things. Ribeye, thanks for following, you know? Maybe, maybe the commies come round again. Maybe we, maybe we break their- Oh my god, we have fucking positive political power. Positive PP. I feel positive about my PP. Um, okay. Can we take Torino now? Yes, we fucking can. G -g -g guess who's going to capitulate? No, really? Really not? God fucking damn it. How much more? Uh, only a little bit more. Alright. Let's just fucking kill these Cindy's. Here we go. The German Empire declared war on Georgia. I'm from Georgia! Still negative manpower? Oh no, no, we still got positive manpower. We're using it to build divisions and shit. Fuck yeah. We're going up in the numbers. My PP is positive. <laughs> That's actually probably not a good thing to tell a lover. Excuse me, honey, my PP is positive. Oh, where did I go wrong? Oh boy. <laughs> Went from a woman to a man, five minus five hundred PP to seven centimeters. <laughs> God damn it! I was like, "What do you mean, woman to a man?" Oh, that's what you mean. Let's go take Bologna, and we should hopefully uh, win this war. The border go, the border go. It's fucking bad. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Here we go. So we've skipped that. We now go the war effort. Finally, we're getting rid of bled dry. We'll actually have manpower. Oh, there, go. there goes the Socialist Republic. Finally, they're gone. They're still sort of around, but they're gone. We saved you, Pope! We saved you! We saved the Pope! Look at him! He's so fucking pious. He's a patron of Rome. I saved you, dear Pope. Good boy. Good Pope boy. We're- Oh no! No, not New Zealand! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> conscription riots in New Zealand. Nowhere has the issue of conscription been uh, more sensitive than New Zealand. A territory already felt was joined unwillingly in the con uh, Consolidation of Resources Act in 1924. Now conscription has been forced on the nation of Australasian government. The riots are broken out across the state. Many rioters angrily burning Australasian flags and vowing that New Zealand should not be a part of the Confederation at all. You are staying inside of me! <gasps> no. I lose my core states? Too bad they count for, like, literally, at best, a million people. Fucking commie bastards. Commie bastards trying to break free. 
Oh, I'd best recall you boys before the end is over. Oh, I'd best recall you boys. That's a big old no-no. Uh, I've watched many ads for this pocket change, but here you go. I have one request to a streaming address. Thanks for the eight cents, but I'm not doing a streaming address for eight cents. I do it in a dress if it was comfortable. I just don't own a dress. Like, what dress would I own that fits me? I'm big. Well, I mean, I'm tall, at least. Um, I know probably one girl whose dress would fit me. And I, like, I doubt she's... I, she's not exactly a close friend who's going to loan it to me. I found out where the political prisoners went to. Oh, yeah, New Zealand. Fucking scum. God damn it. Right. <laughs> what with being a penal colony and all that. Oh, yeah. It's normally just the prisoners are in charge, and that means negative stability. 40,000 horsemen? What? Oh, oh, this is the light horse. Uh, 40,000 horsemen tells the story of the Australian light horse during the Sinai and Palestine campaign in the last Weltkrieg. It follows the adventure of three rowdy heroes in fighting and romance, and culminates at the Battle of Beersheba. Uh, while the film is clearly a propaganda tool to aid in recruitment and lift the pride of Australasians at home, it's fast becoming the most successful Australasian film ever produced. Fuck yeah. Woohoo! Australasians! Friends in God Kingdom? Yeah, it'd be nice if France went in Kingdom, but they didn't. That's a little bit sad. Here. These boys here. Oh, it's doing this bug again. Oh, for fuck's sake. Right. There we go. Beautiful. And we can sail out to here as well. Lovely. Try for an armistice. Oh, I can't bloody wait. They have pushed us slightly back from the, uh, the port we had, but that's fine. We're going to try and take this state real quick. Just to get a bit of land back. Oh, come on. Don't be losing now. Breast hasn't fallen. Okay, Breast has now fallen. Does, is that it? Is that enough? God, they need to get... Uh, Bordeaux needs to fall. Maybe Marcel? Oh, Marcel could be the difference. Okay, hang on. Let's march our boys down to here, into Marcel. Oh, no, wait, wait for them. Don't just attack just yet. Oh, no, the France... Yes, the commune is gone! Whew! All right! Here we go. Get rid of that shit. Stick ourselves. Oh, wait, hang on. We need to ask for access with the Germans. Ask for military access. Beautiful. Alrighty. Stick ourselves right here. We're going to be feeling the burn in just a moment. Commies are fucking gone. And the Germans took it all. Shit. Look, I'm fine with the Germans taking it all because they're not Cindy's. Never fucking mind. What the fuck? What the fuck? Um. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't know what I've just seen. I feel remarkably not okay with it. Uh, 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 Swiss, what are you people doing? You chill. Just, just really not okay with what I'm looking at here. Oh, God. Hey, the French... I like how the fucking French Republic doesn't actually get the French Kingdom back. Anyway. Alright, let's form up our boys. We all know what we got to do. Here, everyone needs to form on this southern province. There we go. Save for these three divisions who are going to start. Are they all here? And where's this last division? Oh, he's over here. What the... Wait, why are you... No! No, 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 no! No, you're sailing into enemy territory! Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Hang on. Sail back. What the fuck are you guys doing? Why are you on boats? No! Save them. Oh, we lost two fucking divisions! Why were they even going that way? What possible war were they going to join? Advance Australia fair. Looks like we lost a cav division, alright. Well, fucking Christ. Honestly. Why were they going in the north? What? The entire fight was in the south! Why were they in boats in the fucking channel?